You know, some people just park wherever the hell they want. There's a whole parking lot. Yeah, you have to put your X-Wing on top of this building. I'd get arrested if I did that, I'm just saying. This is why I drive Y-Wings. The girls missed their connecting flight in the United States, and they won't be in until tomorrow at 9.30, so I'm stuck for today by myself in Paris. What am I gonna do? I got a crazy idea. Well, I think this will be a good plan to fill time while I wait for the girls to get here. I'm somewhat inside, but I have no clue where to go to buy a ticket right now. Absolutely clueless. And then comes the question, do I buy the ticket to the studios or just the Magic Kingdom? I've never been here. I don't know. All right, so I decided to go with just the classic Disneyland park. We'll see what it has to offer and how it's different from the U.S. Let's go check this place out. today off with a classic ride or just happens to be the first one I came across. It's a small world. I'm probably the only one that had a concern that those dolls would come to life and massacre everyone in the boat. Yeah, this is as close as I get. I'm not waiting in that crazy line. Alice's Curious Labyrinth, also known as get lost for 35 minutes and not know what to do. Close for renovations. No Pirates of the Caribbean. What the? Oh. fun roller coaster shifts your equilibrium and while I was trying to film and change the angle the darn thing did a loop that I was not anticipating I think one of the coolest things yet most bizarre things as an American who grew up with Disney World and Disneyland is the fact that I'm walking around and there's this grand mixture of languages from all over the world here which you get to some degree at the American theme parks but here there's just so many different languages. It's really interesting to stand in line and try and figure out what people are speaking. All right. Oh. everywhere is mostly the same a lot of different options American style like fried food burgers pizza things like that however in Disney Paris there are an abundance of places to sell crepes which you don't really get in the US I figured I would give Disney a shot and see in honor of my wife how Walt Disney Paris Mexican food is down the hatch it goes It has a little spice, but not enough. I don't know. I would rank it one notch above Taco Bell. This reminds me so much of how much fun I had at Disney as a kid. 
I love these things. In the 80s, these were high technology. Oh yeah, nailed it. Ooh, the Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion, you're my next stop. Let's do it, shall we? Let's go to the Haunted Mansion. Or the Phantom Manor, or whatever it's called. The place where it's only 15 minutes to wait in line. I gotta admit, there was one part of that that scared me. I'm focusing on all the animatronics going on, and there's some crazy, creepy, Crypt Keeper looking dude. And I just turn around fast, and of course, that's the moment he starts laughing. As a kid, I used to be so in fear of the Haunted Mansion when I went to the Florida park that I cried at the age of seven so hard and my parents are so concerned because everywhere in the park I thought my parents were taking me to the Haunted Mansion. And I think in the end, my dad, the brilliant guy he is, ended up resolving it by giving me probably $20 worth of quarters and taking me to the video arcade until I forgot about it. Ended up back in the center somehow. There's the castle. I'm just trying to find my way to the Star Wars rides. And I have no idea where to go right now. A lot of people here though. Maybe there's a parade coming through. Jedi Training Academy. Well, that was the Jedi Training Academy. If I was a kid, I'd probably go nuts over that. And most of the places you go, they pick maybe one, two kids to volunteer. There are like 20 kids on the stage. That must have been awesome for them. I am entering Star Tours. I've been looking forward to this one. It'll be interesting to hear what the voice for C-3PO is like in French. Exiting Star Tours now, and I gotta say, it's completely different for me. The last time that I saw it was based off the three original ones, and it was... Oh, hold on. Thank you. Wait. The last time I saw it was based off the three original movies. This time around, it's based on the entire movie time frame. So they went to Naboo and Kashyyyk. The funniest thing is, they actually drove into Jar Jar Binks, which I really appreciate pleasantly surprised that this one is completely different than my early childhood experience that was based off the original three movies. So it's not Space Mountain here, it's Hyperspace Mountain with a Star Wars theme. Just finished Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. I gotta say this, I thought they just took Space Mountain and slapped Star Wars on it, which for the most part they did. The decorations in there aren't top notch and it was kind of lacking all the way through. It's still like the old like 1950s, what's the space age going to be? Nothing really Star Wars except like a few Star Wars banners draped on things. However, the entire inside was Star Wars and uh, I gotta say, this was a scary roller coaster because I could see nearly nothing except occasional lasers and things like that. The reason it's so scary is because I kept imagining if something went wrong, 
you would not see it coming in this place. All right, I'm gonna have to call it a day because my battery on my phone is almost dead and I still need to have just enough to get back to my hotel. What a great way to spend a day while the girls are stranded in the US.